Hi, this is going to be a new video. Um, it's been a while since I've done one. Um, this is going to be um, an update video, and not not really. It's, it, there's only kind of um, three tiles, and I, I won't really be talking about them too much. And um, it's really a video on um, three releases from Australia, recent releases um, regarding. Um, commemorative of um, the Dardanelle campaign um, sort of in Gallipoli during the First World War uh, which um, the Australians and uh, Anzacs in general they suffered terrible losses um, first release I got was a war diviner by um, Russell Crowe um, I haven't had a chance to see this one yet but um, I hear it's real good and I also picked up um, Gallipoli uh, 100 years in the making it's a collector's edition. I'm really happy with these two releases. And these two releases are, you know, great. But I also managed to pick up. Uh, I, I love this film by um, Peter Weir. It's great. Um, Star Mel Gibson. It's um, the Gallipoli set, uh, commemorative edition. Um, comes with uh, the wooden two up set. Um, it's like a coin game. Um, you see it a lot. If you ever seen Waking Fright. Um, you know the game. It's, it's it's relatively easy. I think it's banned in parts of Australia for a bit, like cracking down on various gambling establishments. I'll show you what it is inside. Anyway, if you haven't seen, it. I'm sure most Aussies will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, I'll take out the book. Here then. So, so. There you go. So it's it's basically like a. If I can ever get it out of the pack. There you go. Like a coin game. It's weird, man. When they were playing it in Waking Fright, I don't know what the hell are they playing. Um, so yeah, you got like the heads and tails thing, and like you you, you win picking various. I wonder if they got the coins on the other side. Like they do, yeah. So yeah, you'd flick the thing up, and you know, resulting on if it was heads or tails or not. You know, and, and various like betting and stuff. If you've seen Waking Fright, you know I'm on that. You know, most people. Down that way, now I'm talking about anyway. Right, so you got the booklet like this. It's kind of, it's kind of a small booklet. You've kind of got the normal Blu-ray inside, which you'd be, you, you, you know, you, that that's the normal kind of release. Real good film, man. If, if no, no one's seen Gallipoli, it's it's a fantastic film. Such a, you know, such a sad ending. Real good. Two disco. Oh no, three disco. Sorry. Um. Yeah, it's, it's it's loaded with features as well. Boys of the Dardanelle, Dardanelles campaign. Just when you read about Gallipoli, man, just just the slaughter was just oh good god, just just pointless slaughter. And you have got the um the little kind of small satch that kind of comes in. You've got to, it's, it's a shame there's not stuff out of rich written in the diary. I mean that that would be fantastic. That would be almost like you know a little bit more detail. They could have had a few maps of um. Uh, maybe you know maps of you know the Darnell campaign you know Gallipoli they could have had a few kind of battle maps um, yeah it's a bit of a shame but you know it, it's kind of a, it, it would have been great a release like a fold out release almost kind of like a digibook type packaging I mean that, that would have been absolutely amazing like like um almost like oh, almost like an, uh, a, a grail diary type thing you know like from like the last crusade but yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's it's pretty um yeah. It could have it, it could have been a really good release, but you know it, it's still it's still very good, and 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 uh, I'm kind of happy with it. And I, you know the you know the price is kind of reasonable. But yeah, so you get that, and you know you get the two up kind of set with it. But yeah, I I thought I'd just do a kind of a quick video because I'll I'll be doing another update soon. But um I just wanted to show this because you know it's a real good film and. Uh, you know, a bit uh, a good time to kind of remember it as well with the um. You know, when you think of World War One, I, I think I think you know you know the sum immediately comes out to you, and you know one or two of the battles. But I think um, when you read about Gallipoli, and you know particularly for um, you know uh, Australians and New Zealanders, um, you know the losses are absolutely just.
just enormous. And this, there's some, there's some good. Australia. I really like the Light Horseman as well. Another good Australian First World War film. Um, so yeah, that's the end. It's not really an update, so it's much, you know, a small video. But you know, these are available as well. Uh, the Gallipoli and. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah, but both releases. So I, I, you know, I'd, I'd recommend. Um, I'm starting to watch this one. I'll, I'll watch um, an Russell Crowe film um, at a later date. But yeah, so that's the that's the end of the um, this small kind of uh, almost like a Gallipoli update, really. But so I'll be back with another update, um, a full update uh, very soon. So thanks for watching. Cheers.